everybody. Welcome to uh, Alice Marie's YouTube channel. The first thing up for autopsy is going to be loudspeaker control unit LS671 slash VRC. I don't know if this has been built for the Navy, the Army, or the Air Force. Um, it may be a joint Army-Navy item as is uh, quite the frequent qu quite the frequent thing to have happen the army and navy bid on contracts together a lot um, I was told that this is out of a Humvee I was told that a HM250 hand mic receiver uh, handpiece would clip in here and connect to J2 here. Focus, you fuck. J1, this big connector, would connect to the uh, radio in the front of the Humvee. I've been told it was a sync GARS radio, and if you want to know more about sync GARS, just type into Wikipedia S I N C G A R S sync gars that is the type of radios this was used with okay without further ado I only left two of these screws in that you do not have to watch me take screws out let me see if I can do this one handed while holding the camera Will you stare at the back of my ugly hand? And yes, I am doing this in the bathroom because it's the only place in the house with good enough lighting. All right. This back plate, I can't tell if it's aluminum or. It appears to be aluminum. The front part of the housing is made of plastic. We have a ribbon cable. What? I expected this to be nothing but passives and wire, but there's a lot going on in here. This is my first time opening it. I had no idea there was even going to be circuitry. Focus, you fuck. 50 volts DC. Let's see if I can get the light there so you can read that. Yeah, what is this? Oh yeah, there is. There's two boards. Okay, but what I'm going to do is for this first video, now that you've seen inside of it, this here appears to be that toggle switch, the power on off toggle switch from the front panel. This appears to be that dimmable light hand mic connector, main radio connector. had to cheat. That right there is the volume control. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this farther apart and we're going to make a separate video. First, let me go over some of the stuff on the front panel since I just mentioned it. This area here is obviously the main speaker. This is the volume, speaker volume. What's interesting about it is it pulls. It's pull on, pull off. As well as twist. This is what really drew my eye to this piece. The dim, bright indicator. 
and this is the back of that really heavily built toggle switch we saw and the hand mic connector. And this plastic, you know, I was thinking since this was really quite the, the skookum bit of uh, military surplus gear that, uh, you know, it'd be some type of fiber reinforced plastic. But it appears, instead of being a fiber reinforced plastic, and I can't find any recycler marks on it, uh, maybe after I pull those boards out, or some of the other components out, but it's not a fiberglass or fiber reinforced plastic. It seems to be just a straight ABS, or it's almost smooth like PVC. I have no idea what type of plastic that would be. Oh, another odd feature is this bolt right here. You take it out and it just deadheads. There's nothing behind that. I'm guessing that's for mounting it, maybe, since it's on the top. This would be the bottom. Let's open this again. I don't know if you can see on the side of this, there's not enough light. Right down in here, on this, it says 40 micro Henry. So I'm assuming this is an inductor. Inductor, capacitor, probably a voltage regulator, probably an audio amplifier. I have some, what, discrete transistors, maybe? This isn't the EEV blog. I have a pretty good conceptual knowledge of modern electronics, but they're not that great. If I have a schematic, I can do wonders, but... This is Mallory. Is Mallory... When, are they still around? 250 microfarad, 50 volts, made in USA. Hot diggity. So, you also can't see the back of the speaker in here. Oh, there's some markings. Okay, what do we got in here? Mold Rev D. Yeah, no, I'm not going to see anything that's going to tell me the type of plastic. This does have a very nice rubber seal right around here. So it does seem to be waterproof. And they use a ribbon cable. I would have never thought to see flat flex ribbon cable. Try and give you best close up of the board as I can. Alrighty, and as for this other board down here, I am going to pull this ribbon cable and I'm going to pull this top board and then I'm going to shoot another video. So uh, stay tuned for part two. Hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe, hit the like button, thumbs up because that's very important these days, and uh, subscribe to Alice Marie's YouTube channel if you liked it. Alice Marie, Marie being me. And hopefully someday we can get a bunch of views and likes and get better cameras and I can quit filming it on my cell phone. So sorry. I'm so sorry, everyone. Have a good one. Bye-bye.